Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make unmodified, no pour agar plates. And the best part is you don't need a laminar flow hood or a still air box to make them. I've been using these plastic twist top containers that can withstand the pressure cooker. And with them having a twist top, I haven't had to use parafilm to wrap the edges and it seems to have enough oxygen. First, I weigh out 11 grams of this Nutrien Agar Powder, which I'll leave a link for in the description, along with the link for the plastic twist top containers. After weighing out 11 grams, I mix it in 500 milliliters of hot water. You don't want the water to be boiling when you add in the agar because it can start cooking the powders before it can be dissolved. I like to bring the water to a boil and then I turn off the heat and then I add the nutrient agar powder stir until it is completely dissolved. Once the premix has dissolved, you should start to see the solution clear up. Then I pour the solution into a media bottle so that it can be poured into the containers. Five hundred milliliters is more than enough to fill twenty of these containers. After all the containers are filled, the lids are attached, tightened, and then slightly loosened. The lids are loosened for the pressure cooking cycle, and then after it has cooled down and they are removed from the pressure cooker, then the lids are tightened. I like to use the Presto 23 quart pressure cooker with three quarts of distilled water in the bottom and then I use four mason jars to make a platform to keep the containers out of the water during the cycle. The containers of agar are pressure cooked at 15 psi for 30 minutes. After the pressure cooking cycle is finished, allow them to cool down naturally and then remove them from the cooker once they have cooled down and then tighten the lids. I haven't had any condensation problems with these containers and the tops of them are pretty clear so that you can see the mycelium growing. 
I stored these agar containers around 75 degrees Fahrenheit for the first couple weeks just to make sure no contamination pops up before using them and if there's any condensation in the top of the lid usually keeping them around that temperature will make the condensation go away. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you if you are looking for a super reliable and easy way to make agar plates without using a laminar flow hood or a steel air box. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or you can join the new Discord community which I'll leave a link for in the description along with all the supplies to make these no pour unmodified agar plates. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.